Sorry about that, guys. My uh, PC died, and it's pretty laggy at the minute, so... Mm, it doesn't look good. It probably started too early. Things will be a bit laggy. Perhaps to start with. But the arena code and everything is still the same. God damn it, that was such a... I was having such a good stream and then it all just ugh, boom. Lots of viewers, everything. It was just, it was great. And now, yeah, okay. It's fine. We're all fine. Sorry, the Dino's presence was too powerful. As soon as I said, hey, do you know the stream just died? It was his presence. He's too powerful. It needs to be stopped. Sod and Murphy think you're enjoying yourself too much. Yeah, I was. Anyway, it's all right. Yeah. Kazi, you're taking two theme. How you doing, Dino? It's been a while since I've seen you. Oh, I think it's out of sync. Everything's out. Is everything sound alright? I'm doing good. Recently picked up a new hobby. What have you picked up? Besides drawing. I probably should do the same thing, Dino. So well done for picking something up and... It's a good way to take care of yourself, you know? But what have you started doing? I'm gonna pick up, like... What should I- what hobby should I pick up? Taxidermy? Basket weaving? I've made my first plushie. Oh! What, um... What are you gonna be making plushies of? You made a curbo. Oh, I love it. Chuck test. <laughs> That's an old meme, Grey. That's you're showing your age. I'm gonna make whatever. Maybe a Yoshi next. God, you and Fluffy, you're showing your age there. Yoshi. I mean, do you know, people would buy them if you wanted to sell them. I'm sure people, it's probably like a lot of people probably do it, but yeah. It's good to see you again, Dino. Hope you're keeping well. Anyway, yes, thank you for sending me the pictures of Charlie Day. Um, I literally don't know who that is still. Well, I recognize who he is, but like, yeah. <laughs> I've n I tried watching, uh, I tried watching, um, uh, all, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, like, god, it must have been years ago, about five, six years ago, more than that. Uh, and I didn't get past it. I don't think I got any further than ten minutes into the first episode. It was just, it was, I didn't enjoy it. People say it's a lot like Seinfeld, and I love Seinfeld, so, um, like, love it. So I'm kind of confused about that. I'm making them for people. I like surprising people with presents. Lovely. That's really good of you to, you know, make them and fill your time with them and very kind of you to give them out as gifts too. Right, ASAP Cookie. I don't know who you are, but I think that's like three victories. If you can jump to the back if you're in the... if you're in the chat, which they might not be. Alright then, never mind. Hang on. Okay, fine. I've just got to win. I never got into Seinfeld, but in general, I'm more into zombie fantasy or sci-fi stuff. I don't really like. I don't know. I'm just kind of into like comedies these days because I don't like. I don't. I, I don't know. I just sort of prefer like watching stuff that's funny and dumb and. I have not played the Belmonts in a like a hot minute. Watched a lot of videos about Castlevania today, so Castlevania, of course. Go. 
Fuck. I've always liked psychological stuff or dystopians. I don't, um... But... It's just because... I don't know. I just... I used to like stuff like that, but I just went off them, I guess. I need to start a new class where we actually make a fully fledged game. Man, playing on these Joy Cons is awful. I hate this. Really need to get a new controller. Dino's very creative. Dino's very good at drawing. He's very artistic. Get two controllers right away as a backup. What kind of controller would you get? Probably just a pro one. A, maybe a GameCube or like a pro controller. Because playing on these things are ass. Like, <laughs> phenomenal amount of ass. Alright, I've asked this guy to jump out so that oh, okay. So that other people can get a go, but doesn't I don't think he's in the I finally bet Surge in my mono normal run of Pokemon. Um it was horrible. It's so fucking hard. Yeah, I fell straight into that. That's fine. This is laggy as well. I do not like this. I am bad as Belmont. That's all right. Now, you can wait a minute. Don't start the match yet. Five consecutive wins, right? Don't start the match yet. Oh, he jumped out. Right, okay, never mind. I was going to use that please change teams message because sometimes they get the message if you do that. Alright, on you go. Just go ahead. Is it out of sync for me or is it just... Is it out of... My mic's a bit loud. Turn my mic down a little bit. I wonder how many Smash Arenas I've ever hosted in my whole time streaming. Is the, the sound is out of sync for me, but if it's not for you guys, then that's it. Doesn't then I don't need to do anything. It's must me. That's just me. Right, good. It is definitely out of sync for me, but um. Yeah, it's just OBS stuff. Don't worry about it. If it's fine for y'all, then that's good. OBS does like to be a bit special. A lot, I watched a little bit of your stream, Fluffy, the last one you did. Um, of how ridiculously overleveled you are in Pokemon Shining Pearl or Brilliant Diamond or whatever, which one it, whatever one it is that you have. Oh, 
with this fight. You're almost level 70, and you're at what, like the second gym? <laughs> no, you're at the seventh or eighth one now, from what I remember from our chat yesterday. Seventh. Level 70 at the seventh gym. What this, what this smeg, that's mental. <laughs> I mean, I fucked myself over at the end, but the Sinnoh is pretty hard to Nuzlocke. I thought being in the mid 60s by the E4 was too much. Like my Torterra was level 71 when before it died. Yeah, if you just do a lot of underground stuff and all that stuff, then yeah, then you'll be level whatever. Let's do that again sometime! died so young. Level 71 at the final battle. Another part of it is like... What is going on here? Oh wow. He was just standing there menacingly. You know what? I really need to update the the stream mascot, which is my Cradilly wearing a Jotaro hat. Dino, can I commission you to draw one for me? How you doing? It's good to see you. Does everything sound alright? I turned my mic down a bit. I think everything should be alright. I was winning with Ganon a little bit. Sometimes. <laughs> Some Ganon. Then died with Richter and now I'm back to Mac. You should be allowed to be Puff. Yeah, great. Those of us who only play like one character, we're never allowed to pick other ones. A commission for you to draw my stream mascot, which is a Cradilly with Pokemon. With a Jotaro, jo with Jotaro Kujo hat. I need to call him Jotaro Joestar. You could stop using Mac anytime. No, you, you imply that I have any choice in the matter, which I don't. Mac chose me. Straight out of Compton. Crazy motherfucker named Little Mac. Well, straight out of Brooklyn. The straight out of the Bronx, crazy motherfucker named Little Mac. I always wonder how they afford the apartments in New York City in Seinfeld and obviously the explanation is just well it's a TV show and it's not based in reality but I'm still like but their rent is so damn cheap how are, what do they do George doesn't even have a job and he's like he just like lives in Manhattan yeah I've went I've walked past the flat and friends and um, that they like the exterior because the flat obviously it's just like a studio set in Los Angeles or something 
Like, um, but the outside of where they filmed the outside, I've, been, I've walked past that in New York City. And I'm like, God, you would need like six people to afford the rent. Never mind just like Rachel living in her wait, who's flat. I don't remember whose apartment it is. Like Joey lives there with Chandler. And then I don't, I don't remember because I never, I've never watched Friends. Not in years. They should live like bottom. Yeah, because they pay their rent. <laughs> Bottom is like, see when you watch Bottom, even when you've seen it a million times, like, um, you sort of don't notice, even when you, like, you notice still how disgusting it is. It's obviously just like, it's all just painted on, it's just like fake, but, oh, I'd sooner actually kill myself. Apparently there was some kind of rent control loophole that allowed them to afford it. Chandler said something about it, right. I don't remember. Three, Friends lore. God, this is laggy as fuck for me. I feel like it's like. Uh... I think it's because like the sounds for me are coming a little bit later, so it's a little bit disorienting. No, it's a few laggy for me. You can see how much I haven't played this recently. Yeah, Kirby's not a Pokemon. It's good for the mental health to not play Smash Online. Look, I don't get angry about lag and things like that, and lag is just in one of those, it's just annoying, sure, but it's, you know. I meant to let that go so much sooner. <laughs> it's because the sound is delayed for me. Oh, Rob, thank you for the resub. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I need to change my sub alert. Because it didn't come up there, so I need to... Pick. Why did that not come up? It doesn't matter. I need to get a new No More Heroes themed one. Can I get the... Tra I'm going to get the Travis rap battle as my sub alert. Get knocked the fuck out. Plus, it's no more heroes. 15 months you've been subbed to me for. Can you imagine that? Crazy. I really appreciate it, Rob. Thank you. Proper one as I use my Twitch Prime on someone else, I guess. Do you have, do you sub to a lot of people, Rob? I'm subbed to Mufo um, and Kiers, and I think that's actually it. That was a close game, by the way. Hang on, I'm gonna see if thinking this stops messes up sound. I don't like paying subs. I tend to donate. Yeah, um, Twitch takes a big a big um, cut of the money as well. So if you want to make sure that the, the money goes directly to the streamer, then you can donate, but... You know what, let's have, let's play Kazia. I usually use my free Twitch one on you. Well, thank you. You don't need to pay anything. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. No, all subs are appreciated, regardless if they're free or not. Oh, can I? Mm 
<sighs> Sorry. Me sniffing. Oh god, the sound is really out of sync for me. This is really disorienting. I'm gonna turn my mic, mic off. My headphones off, I mean. Yeah, the, the sound is delayed for me about a full two seconds later. I see Kirby as a Pokemon because he really looks like a normal type Pokemon. Don't speak to me about normal type Pokemon. Um, anyone new? Um, I've started playing a ROM hack called Radical Red, which I will probably just... That is probably going to be my only, my, po my only Pokemon consumption going forward, to be honest. Um, I'm really enjoying it. And I've started, decided that I'm going to do mono type runs of every type in the game. And I've done water so far. Um, just means that you use only Pokemon of that type and dual types are allowed. Um, and so I've started doing normal, normal types only. And who boy. Uh, <laughs> it's like there's so much choice because there's so many normal Pokemon. But then you realise A, how many of them suck. Uh, B how either limited their move pool is or how diverse it is and see that they all basically get like um well radical red buffs and nerfs quite a lot of pokemon so um hi hopper um can you ask dave what he thought rob of the final champion battle in radical red just ask him what he thought and he'll know what it means well yeah eevee is normal but you couldn't use any of its evolutions and for me, there's like, there's lots of normal flyings, but there's not really any. There's not, there, there's like one normal water Pokemon. There's one normal grass that I can think of. Uh, there's not, there's one normal ground. So you really have to like improvise with like every, and just find everything that can learn specific moves. You could use Eevee, but you couldn't evolve it. You'd have to keep it as Eevee. And you're allowed to use a Pokemon that would eventually, if it was a, if it's type, if it's a, if it's first evolution type is not normal, but it then evolves into a normal type, you could use that as well. So as long as the, yeah, the Pokemon you use has to be normal, um, or whatever type it is you've chosen. Normal and Water have a dual type with every other type in the game by now. Oh yeah, did we? Apart, well, Ghost is now. Yeah. Is there a normal Poison type? Normal Poison. That's probably more, maybe more. Three, Genuinely can't think. One, yeah, well, we can think of some. There's Ghost Normal, which is Mega Banette, at least in Radical Red. Because um, there's definitely a water type matchup with every other type. There's like, yeah. What, yeah, there's water. Well, there's water poison. Yeah, I think you are right. Because I can't think of any normal poison. I don't think there's any normal rock Pokemon. A Digger's Bay is normal ground. I don't know why it's normal. It could just be part. It just could just be fully ground. If it's not any good, then you can play Radical Red and use Mega Banette, which is Ghost Normal, which is a fantastic type. Normal rock, normal ice, and normal steel would be awful. I don't think there's any types of those. I don't think there's any ice normal Pokemon. There's certainly no steel normals that I can... Ah, yeah, you're right. I mean, dark normal's horrible as well. Double fighting weakness. I just realised a second that I barely know Pokemon. I'll stream Radical Red again at some point. Um... Because I'm really enjoying doing these these little runs, even though I've only done one, completed one so far. I've only played Gen 1, Emerald and Silver. I mean, not everyone's into them, whereas me and Dragonite have played every Pokemon game and we are like sort of super fans. But... Packing Xerneas, you mean me? You fueled this hatred, Dad. You you were the one that gave me that shiny Xerneas. <laughs> Even Sun and Moon? Yeah, I like Sun and Moon. I never played Ultra Sun or Moon. Cosmic, be 
No, they were alright. People just kind of overly hate on them. Um, they were okay, so I didn't mind. I, to be fair, I only did play through them once. They're not bad, just awkwardly paced. They're not bad. They're not bad games at all. They probably don't warrant several playthroughs, but um, I like Gen 7. I like all the Gen 7 Pokemon. Alola's speed was all eaten by Tapu, Coco, and Rabombi. Oh shit, I meant to not kill myself there. <laughs> okay. I don't play Kazuya for what it's worth, I just like using him. I mean, people just overly hate on Pokemon. Um, I, per I personally feel I have legitimate criticisms, but... It's like, at the end of the day, it's like, get over it, you know what I mean? It's... I was disappointed with um, Shining Pearl, to be honest. Like, I was really hyped for it. I really was really looking forward to going through Sinnoh again, and then it just wasn't... It just didn't live up to what I thought it was going to be. And that's alright, it happens. Can't even land a single hit. Is this, do you, do you know, is this laggy for you? Let me know. I feel like it, I don't know, it's, I think it's the sound just throwing me off. It was well known it was going to be a one-to-one remake before release. It was a smaller non-Game Freak project. I actually didn't know it had been presented as a one-to-one -one remake. Um, to be honest. I guess I was, I was, I was expecting more than just like a graphical overhaul, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Kazuya Mishima. You don't feel any lag, right? It's just it's just the sound throwing me off then, I think. That no not an excuse though, because I am crap with Kazuya. <laughs> Changing. Mm, who do I use? What's Sephiroth? Haven't used Seph in forever. I'm not any good as these characters, Sephiroth, Kazia, but I enjoy using them. Anyway, it feels good to be streaming Smash again. Um, feels like I've not done it in forever, and I think it's kind of what I needed to start doing again. Is Hazel in the chat? I don't know. I 
I've been loving Persona 5 recently. What has everyone been playing recently? I need to go back to Normal Heroes 3. Um, I've been enjoying Hyrule Warriors a lot. I don't know if I should ever stream it, but maybe I will. Give it a go. Play Persona 5, I own it. Um, I started Dragon Quest 4 on the DS. I also played through Final Fantasy 4 recently. Seems you really like RPGs. Yeah, I think I tend to just play exclusively RPGs, to be honest. Uh, I started Dragon Quest 4, finished, finished Final Fantasy 4. Um, Dave has been playing through the Pixel remasters of... Oh, oh, hang on. Of Final Fantasy, which he said were really good. I've played all those ones, so I'm not sure if I'll go back to them. But they were good games. I hadn't played Final Fantasy IV though until like this year. Um, I, I didn't beat it until... But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to do it because I didn't like it at the start. Um, hello Hopper. Um, I bet he pats his belly like Ken K when he's hungry. My Canute does that. <laughs> That's grey when he's hungry. I'll have a number. What's that? What's that? Uh, yeah, I'll have two number nines, a number nine lodge, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soda. Remember my big smoke mod for Sonic Mania? Muffo, that Muffo made for me? Somebody go to. <laughs> two number nines. And a large. Only one large soda? There should be more. I don't know if I'll join if there are already five players. If you're looking for one on ones, then, um. I'm sure some maybe someone in the chat would one one v one with you. I haven't played San Andre. You know how f fucking old I am. The last Grand Theft Auto I played was Vice City, um, and I don't think I ever played San Andreas. But maybe I should. Should we do that on stream? Did you play Grand Theft Auto One? Oh gosh, um, probably. It was on, like, I don't know what console it was on. Uh, as I say, but Grand Theft Auto 1. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it does look familiar. It was on, it was on the PlayStation, yeah. I think I have played the first Grand Theft Auto, yeah. It was, it's like an, a sort of overhead view. It was just our running people over simulator. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is though, isn't it? Welcome back, Dra Dragonite. Yeah, I do. I remember playing this on PlayStation. I didn't play it a lot. That's all you do is just run people over. What about the Simpsons hit and run? Muffle knows. That's one of the best games ever made. What if I stream Simpsons Hit and Run, but every car explodes if I crash into it? Oh, 
I love Simpsons Hit and Run. I could play that game all day. It's just so, so much fun. And it's hard as shit. Some of the missions in it are really, really hard. That's all very, that, that is very true, Dragon. It's definitely true. But there are legitimate criticisms as well, and I think it's important that, you know, but if, you know, people are not good at, people are not good at phrasing what they want to say on the internet. People just rant and rave and they follow trains and, yeah, it's a really bad fan base, so I don't get involved with it. I'm not, like, I just stream it. I'm not, like, active in the fan base of Pokemon or anything like that. It does happen, Rob, but it's any, any big fan base of anything are going to get people like that. That was a long match, or was that just me? And now it's my turn. Smash character reveals too. Yeah. They went over quite quickly, though. People would just be mad for, like, a day or two, and then no one would care anymore, and everyone would just be like, shut up, dude. I think it's been a while since we all played this, you know, so don't worry about it. I'm terrible. And that's fine. Right, Sefing Roth. Oh gosh. I'm not even allowed a single hit. Look, I should be better at this. I play Seth Roth and Decidia. I thought it was the love you had for a series that translated to skill in Smash. Weird. Not necessarily, no. A lot of people will work but will work harder to get good with characters that are from games that they like though. Or characters that they like, you know? I win just by using black materia. Yeah, Dragonite would be the world's best banjo player if that was true, but... Stop trying to counter it, Grey! I see what you're doing, it's not happening. Yeah, you are eight years old, aren't you? Oh my god, you killed me with my own fort fireball! I would be the worst Little Mac player because I don't really like Punch-Out that much. So, you know, Punch-Out is just a boxing game. It's not like a huge RPG with a emotional story or anything. It's just like a little guy from New York beating professional boxers. <laughs> Punch-Out games are amazing. They are amazing! <laughs> But they're not like, it's not like Xenoblade or anything like that, you know what I mean? They're just simple little games. I'm still gonna play uh, Super NES Punch Out at uh, some point. I probably prefer them to Zelda. I've started playing Twilight Princess um, again. I really enjoy it so far.
You have to get the little Mac backstory. That's what we want. Oh my god! <laughs> Very close, Gary. Well done. And breathe. Man, playing that Joy-Con is bad. Right, I'll be switched to Mac. Well done. I wonder what percent of great games Gary wins with that move. Wouldn't that be a cool thing to look up to if you could like see um, what percentage of games you'd won by like KO punching or something or or warlock punching for relevant people involved? Right, I'm gonna refill my water. Oh gosh. Warlock punch less. So yeah, I think winning the match with Warlock punch is probably quite low. I'm hunting another silly move for my new video. What move is it you're going for? get to 11 11 million gsp is that honestly like malcolm's another mac player i swear i've seen that name before The weak semi spike. I don't actually know my GSP with Mac. I can check it in a minute. Sorry, I was just doing some Discord stuff there. I can check it right now. You were playing Elite earlier. Oh, yeah. Uh,
Little smack. Paradox knows what's up. How you doing? I'm at 10.9. 10.958. What the me? Really? Are you serious? How you doing, Paradox? Doing all right, could be doing worse, could be doing better. Aren't we all, my man? Or my person, my girl, whatever you're... Yeah. <laughs> so we are almost at the same. Take it! Oh no, you fell for the the, the timeout. <laughs> don't worry, you only get it only times you out for one second, so don't worry. <laughs> Gray, are you almost the, also at ten point nine with Mac? I didn't even notice it was that high. That's mental. Should we attempt? Should we attempt to go for 11 million? Do you think we can reach 11 million? I knew I saw the die instantly in you, my mission. Ah, uh, welcome Paradox, you're officially one of us now. Alright. Do it for the memes. That's the only reason to do anything ever. I have two motivators, spite and memes. <laughs> How we relate. Maybe I'll try for 11 million. Remember that guy that came in asking questions? I hope they come back. What, Sikai? Oh yeah, yeah. To answer three questions, and he would give you ten dollars or something. Yeah, I do remember that. It was like it was like trivia, and it was like it was like Smash stuff. It was like what frame does Max Jab come out on? What did I miss before joining in? Uh, not a whole lot. I've just been just been chilling. We're just doing some Smash. Wasn't the last question like, beware? It was something like the voice actor of a Pokemon or something like that. Or like, yeah, who was it? Name. Or like, name the character that this person voices in Dragon Ball Z. And I said Trunks and it was right, I think. If you answer my riddles three, you pass my trial and air my unyielding respect. Give me a riddle. If you answer thee, these riddles three, what is your name? Wait, Ellie, you played Shadow the Hedgehog, right? Who do you think I am? Of course I've played Shadow the Hedgehog. To completion, may I add. Riddle number one. Name one psychic flying Pokemon. That's not a riddle, that's just a question. Um, Zatu is psychic flying. Lugia. You want to know something crazy? Always. Are you old enough to remember the kids' show Nightmare? That sounds familiar. 
I'm old enough to remember Tots TV. Goku's voice actor voiced Black Doom. Right. <laughs> Amazing. Nightmare, oh, nightmare spell with a, well, yeah, with a K. Oh, it's a palindrome. Yeah, it's a palindrome. I see it right, I saw it right away. So it's a palindrome, it would be a nut for a jar of tuna. Backwards is the same. Is it really a riddle? That's just a question, but uh, it's all right. I wasn't even paying attention. What is both of these notes across your face? Uh, okay, first piece uh, of actually interesting Pogo content. Arlo has Shadow Bag on. Oh, to have any much. I haven't logged onto Pogo in ages. Both of these arms to hug you with. Thank you for the follow, Paradox. Do you guys, you know what I hate? Are those like lateral thinking problems where it's like a man, oh, oh he was standing in a field and then he died, but it forgot to tell you that the man was like, like, you know, he had like no, f he was dying of blood loss or something like that. It, you know what I mean? They're so stupid, those lateral thinking problems. Both of these. It was all a roost, there were no riddles. Consider yourselves bamboozled. I consider myself to be bamboozled. I'm sorry too. I love how she says I'm sorry when she dies. It's my favorite sound effect. I thought your favourite sound effect would just be Ganon crushing skulls of his enemies. I just read that as, come on bitch, I don't know why. Mario. I see that the follow notification isn't working. I need to test the follow. Find the computer room. Game. Your channel is falling apart. I'll need to go ahead and fix that. I don't know why that's like not working. I hate Pyra so much. <laughs> Harder goddamn taste. Find it. The computer room. I'm in the com- but I'm sitting in the computer room. Y'all. Find the computer room. Hello. Right. Hello. Follow me. Okay. That might come up like 15 times now, but hopefully not. To the PC room, the computer room. I'm sitting in the computer room. Right, this is a sub one. I like her better when she's horny. Um. Okay. 
I think the bet's one. You know what they say, all toasters, toast, toast. All toasters, toast, toast. Hello, hello, follow me, okay. Thanks for the follow, chiefs. How you doing? Rob, you need to check yourself with that comment. <laughs> I'm fine here at work. What do what do you work as? So it wasn't that oh god to think it was like a year ago. That I was still working nights and all the clothes and stuff and I was still doing work but I don't know complaining about it. <laughs> and now I have another job. I've had it for a year almost. You're a janitor. Facilities coordinator, pretty much a janitor. Oh, okay. You're able to watch it work though, that's pretty awesome. I hope it's not too bad. Or not too tiring, I should say. Rob, I'm just staring at that comment. You need to, to absolutely check yourself, please. Twenty-six dollars an hour. I'm not complaining. Hmm, that's not bad. What time is it? Where are you situated? Dollars. I don't actually know how much I earn an hour. Did I find it out? Um. I'll have to convert it. We know no Zeke von Genbu, bringer of chaos, is the hottest character in Smash. I earn. I'm gonna convert it to US dollars. I earn $29 an hour. When converted into from Norwegian crowns, and in pounds, no two six. I would earn twenty one pounds an hour in the UK. I am from Scotland, but I live abroad in Norway. It's so weird I just had to check that. I was just like, oh, what actually, what do I earn? <laughs> I only know my yearly, well, my monthly and my yearly salary. Three, yeah. One. Norwegian crowns don't go as far, so US dollars are probably, everything's cheaper in America than it is in Norway. Yeah, make sure, yeah, don't get sick. Love the accent, thank you. I know, well if I was earning 26 pounds an hour in the UK, I mean I would absolutely take it. If you earned a Norwegian salary in the UK, you'd live like an absolute god. That would be our criteria for moving back to the UK, wouldn't it? Thank you for the enjoy your lark.
What are you going to have for dinner, Fluffy? And by the way, I'm not really joking when I say that I'm going to come visit you unless you don't want me to come and visit you because I want to. I need a holiday already. <laughs> as soon as I get in my car, I'm just going on a freaking... I'm just going to drive and see where I end up. Wraps. Sounds good. Enjoy yourselves. All right, now it's me. A paradox, where are you from? Speaking of eating, I want to eat my Kirby plush. Don't eat it, it'll, that's not good for you. You are more than welcome here, thank you, Curry. Three, two, I could drive to the Netherlands from Norway. You'd have to go to Sweden first. I am British as it were, British. <laughs> Bottle of water. Well, the thing is, see, people always like Americans. I think they like they make fun of Brit British people for not pronouncing the letter T. Um, which is true, we don't. Um, but they can't say the word mirror properly. They go like mirror, just M E E R. That's how they say the word mirror. Mirror. It's two syllables. Mirror and spirit. Aluminium, yeah. The whole al al aluminum and aluminium is stupid. Like, it's just. I don't get why it's got to be that way. Good game. Near London, but not London. I've only been to London once. Do you think I should go again? London is a high level of shankitude. What does that mean? London is great in small doses. I've only been once and it was like, that was years ago. I went on my own to visit my sister. And I, it probably hasn't changed all that much since then, but like. But yeah, um, I'd still always like to go again. if they weren't lifting restrictions at alarming rates. Yeah, in Norway they're talking about lifting them as well and I think people are very, are like really wait, waiting for them to do it. It's a funny term I made up for a high area with a high 
An area with a high rate of knife crime. Right, I see. Well, we don't though. I mean, yeah, there's less people and less deaths and infections and stuff, but it's, it's kind of... The rules have been just as unclear as they have been in the UK. Are there any iconic British food except for fish and chips? Shepherd's pie? Dunno. Haggis. Shepherd's pie. Gravy. Black pudding? Yeah, Rob. Worcestershire sauce. I like black pudding as well. Spotted dick. Toad in the hole. Yorkshire puddings. Um, I always think Christmas food is really British. <laughs> Alright, good game. I don't know how many I've won, I haven't been keep, keeping count. Dirty kettle water, god. That sounds horrible. Three. Gravy's alright, but it's got to be done properly. Go. I've heard of Yorkshire pudding, what is it? Um, it's like a sort of pastry thing. Some people fill them with like... With like mince and stuff like that. Um, they're sort of like pastry shells, kind of thing. Just Google them, what they look like. My mum hates, uh, doesn't like Yorkshire puddings, so she always, but she makes them for Christmas anyway so that me and my dad can eat them all. She, she won't eat them. Yeah, cri there's, Christmas food is done best by the UK. I could eat, I could just eat Yorkshire puddings, like, I love them. Not with anything in them, I prefer them with just, just lots of gravy. The They are made the same way as pancakes, aren't they? Um, I've never made them myself. Maybe I should try. I actually don't know. Right, I'll jump out so you guys can have a go. The maiden is here too. Oh, it's me to jump out, sorry. <laughs> Ready? We got given a waffle maker for Christmas by Knut's mum, but we've not used it yet. <laughs> Oh, 
A waffle maker. But we don't really eat waffles a lot, so... But, um, my boss sent everyone in the office, like, these huge sack things. And they, you know, like, something like Santa would carry. Car yeah, they're very, very popular. You know, like, the, everyone in Norway, waffles are really, really popular. Take them up, dude. Yeah, waffles are mad popular over here. Waffles and hot dogs. No, Ed, it's, uh, it's like a, it's like sweet waffles that we make. It's not like the potato waffles. It's not a potato waffle maker. My mum eats potato waffles with every meal, though. I swear, like, she does. I might ring her after um, this stream. I haven't called her in a while. No, I agree. We probably could, but um, I don't think it would work on our one. Is it just me or... Does this January feel weirder than most? Um, it's not been a great month for us personally. Um, so I'm hoping that the rest of the year is better. Maybe all the, we can have all the bad shit shoved into January and the rest of the year can be good. Those of us who struggle with winter depression, um, yeah, it's uh, January is a really hard time of the year for me. January, February. I don't know what the rest of y'all think. Feel weird. Yeah, I wonder why that is. Ooh. So Rob, how much chocolate did you eat over Christmas? To the nearest ton, uh, yes, ton. <laughs> Rounded up to the nearest hundred. <laughs> I don't overeat, I just store it for the rest of the year to eat gradually. I don't do that, I eat all at once. <laughs> Ice cream. Uh, can you type in exclamation point arena for the arena code. I have a cupboard which is just for my stuff. It is my stash. That cupboard is like a black hole, isn't it? It just never ends. <laughs> there is a Graham's number amount of chocolate in there. Find the computer room! You know what, I think Twiddly requested a Sonic Mania stream ages ago and I haven't done it. I'm gonna have to check that. I am glad you remember Graham's number. Well, look, I was thinking about you earlier, Rob, um, about a week or so ago, because I was thinking, I was I was literally lying awake in bed thinking about this, like, and I messaged my friend Craig, who's got like a master's degree in math or whatever, and, um, 
well, physics, but yeah. And I was like, couldn't I just, like, say, like, well, there's Graham's number plus one times infinity, like, or times Graham's number plus one. Couldn't I just say that? And it's like, well, there's no, there's a bigger number. It's called Ella's number, which is just two Graham's numbers. It's, like, I don't understand. <laughs> This is why math is dumb, because you can just disprove it, like, just, just, you can just say, like, well, I'm thinking of a, an even bigger one. It doesn't serve any useful purpose. Graham's number has a purpose. But why does that one have a purpose and not plus one? The one that's one bigger? I don't understand. This is why, I wonder how many, how many hours you've spent, how many, how much percent of your time in my streams has just been spent explaining to me basic maths concepts. <laughs> Although the Graham's number is not a basic maths concept, that's like, you know, for astronomically huge numbers, but yeah. I call that Pada's number. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Thank you for the follow, Ice Cream. I see your icon is also Mac. Is that Cloud? Yeah. Oh my god, they got me first. I mean, Graham's number is for like really, 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 really big numbers and for space things because it's really, 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 really fun. But I uh, can't do maths, so like I've failed like the lowest maths level possible in my high school because I was just really bad at it. Hey nice man pair. Most numbers, see even like big num, even numbers like a thousand are too big for me to comprehend. It isn't for anything in the real world. <laughs> but it's it's for space things if you're doing like space where numbers are really big in space so like you could easily eat a thousand grains of rice i saw one of these videos it was like the skate the size of the universe you know and it was just like or it was like a huge star and appropriate, or it was like a huge black hole, and appropriately its name was like Ton. I don't know if that, I think that was its name was just like Ton. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, and it was like the biggest observable thing in the, in the universe or something like that. It's crazy. It's like a big black hole or something. I'm obsessed with black holes. I think black holes are funky. Well done, Dino. Is that the truth behind Golden Grahams? Ah, yes. Let's see. Graham's number. Written out. No, you don't need to SD. Uh, what about a Google? Googleplex? That's a good name for a number. If you could somehow imprint digits in every subatomic particle in the entire universe, you wouldn't even be close. Well, what's the point then? <laughs> yeah, three wins and um, it doesn't really matter. There's not that many people in the arena, so... But yeah, usually we have three wins and that's it. I have been teaching Tom all these numbers. I bet he's better at maths than I am. I don't know how to describe it. Like, see if I get like a long string of numbers, like, you know, like when you have to type in like the kid number to a bank, if you're making a payment, and it's like a really long, long number. Like for me, I was told divide it like into four bits. 
So like instead of like one thousand, like instead of going like one zero 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 five six seven one two five seven eight nine four, you just read it as like a thousand, and then another four, and then instead of another four, and that helps. But I spend so much time doing this because like all the numbers just like melt into one for me. Like when I look at them, I'm just like looking at them. I'm just like, say it was like one and then like five or six zeros. I'd have to count those zeros several times to ensure that there were six of them and I wouldn't like you know I mean it takes me a long time so I don't know if that's like discalcula discalcula or whatever discalcula whatever it's called like the numbers version of dyslexia does anyone else ever does anyone else get that I feel like the numbers just kind of all mail into one and I start maybe seeing another zero that's not actually there and counting the same number twice and things like that I'm just so bad at it it's shocking yeah, but short phone numbers are short though. The handy way to remember a UK phone number is that it's 11 syllables. Same as the two opening lines of One Winged Angel. Right? Wait, the first, the notes or like the the the, vocal, the spoken lines, the sung lines of One Winged Angel. My brain picked up at work and I hate that I couldn't unknow first spoken lines. Oh yeah, it is. It, it does. I just did it in my head with my parents' phone number. <laughs> As a Sonic R disliker, I think no one was going to know my opinion on Sonic R. It can never be known. What do you think of the soundtrack? Um, yeah, I love it. I always. Have you never? Watch me stream it. I'm like singing along every single time. I know all the words to every song and everything. And we'll go back in time to another world. Love that song. Sometimes I ask myself, what am I doing here? I think of all the reasons, but it's still not clear. I look at places to go, there's nothing near. So take me away from this, cause this place I hardly miss. So take me back in time to another world then you can be mine i love that song oh yeah here you go one winged angel don't come judge whether you are weird or not by comparing to ella what does that mean explain I can't, no, I'm <laughs> singing, I know. I just, I like singing, but I'm, I, yeah, I don't do it. I used to do it like a lot, a lot like at school and stuff when I was younger. I always feel like this song would play in the street whenever I, if I was to ever meet Celestro in real life, I would know it was him because I would hear this song playing. I think he gets followed around by a Japanese orchestra.
Alrighty. This is going to be a close game, I think. What are people's plans for the rest of the evening? I might not be on for too much longer. I'm gonna draw for my game later today. What kind of game are you gonna make? Or have you not decided that far yet? I need to go plug my phone into my charger. Just give me a second. I couldn't see the couldn't see the charger anywhere. I'll be off kinda late in Germany. Have a good one. Alright, yeah. Maybe you're in the same time zone, I think. Then um Yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening, uh, ice cream. Thank you for the follow. Win this one, then that'll be the last one. A boss rush. I need to make the characters and some bosses. Maybe like, kind of like Cuphead a little bit. I know. I have to start writing my my final thesis on my dissertation. Yeah, Ice Cream's got a really nice Mac. Oh my god, I've not played Cuphead in so long. I actually miss it quite a bit. The word thesis traumatizes me now. Well, this is for my master's degree. I got my grade back uh, for my research plan. Which was, um, which was, um, I got a really good grade for it, so I was really pleased with that. But, you know, at this point, I'm actually looking forward to just being done with, um, with my masters now. Who knows if I will ever take education again after this. It's kind of going to be, it's going to be really weird to think about that, like, I will no longer be a student and probably never have to be one again. At least, in a, like, in an official sort of capacity. I don't know if I can let other people play it. Well, if, I don't know, if you, if you get, if you... If you are allowed to let other people play it, um, then I'll be more than willing to help out, help out. Because I'm sure it'll just be your game, you'll get to do... I loved school my whole life and then suddenly when I did my degree I was just completely done with it. I know, I've been a student now for 25 years of my life and... Which is like about 95% of my life. Um, and, you know, I've virtually never not, never not been a student, you know what I mean? So, in some form or another. So, well, maybe more like 22 years, but yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it's just completely crazy to think about. Right, that's enough. Let's gonna see if we can get to 11 million with Mac. Thank you for all the people in the arena. Hope you guys enjoyed, but I'm not done yet. 
It's gonna be really weird. I'm gonna be. They said they told us we could submit in April, but I don't think I'm gonna have everything done by that point. But I would, I would really like to have it done by then. Then I can just spend the whole summer not thinking about it. But I think it will be good at the same time. Because I don't think I can have everything done in two months, you know what I mean? Well, tw it's not tw I've, I've miscalculated. Mis not 25 years, but certainly 20. But that's because I was, you know, in education since I was five. And, you know, all through high school. I went to college and then I did, I did a bachelor's degree, which was four years. And then I took a two-year break from uni and then decided to do a master's degree, um, which I'm now still doing. So this is the final part, though. This is the, the dissertation and that'll be the end of it once it's done. And then once I'm done, I'll probably never, ever do education ever again. It's really weird to think about it like that. The thing is, I work with people in my job who like don't, ha who haven't even finished high school, and they're often like older than I am. And sometimes it's been like it's like health, health issues have been in the way. It's usually like there's there, there's a reason for it, you know what I mean? But it's still kind of thing. I'm still kind of thinking like, oh my god, you know, I need to reap the benefits. I hope to th that it does benefit me because that's the only reason I did it. So. <laughs> Bowser's pretty damn good. Yeah, but it'll be good to be for it to be over. Nah, I'm dead. That's fine. Yeah, well, I'm done, and I think I'm going to go for a walk. Yeah, I only lost 3,000. That's pretty good. Oh, God, 11,000 must be harder than I thought, then. Let's just wait, and we'll get up there normally without doing anything. <laughs> what does that make the, the threshold for Elite Smash, then? Like, it must be, like, 10 million or something now. That's my strategy. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Okay, um, that's me for tonight. I'm going to go, probably go for a walk, maybe call my parents. 10.1, good grief, that's so much. Um, good to see you again, Rob. Good to hang out. Dino, it was really nice to hear from you again. Stick around, please don't be strangers. Um, and I will hopefully see you all soon. Tomorrow is Friday and I'm going to maybe stream. I don't know what I'll stream, if I stream at all. But let's see. We'll see what happens, eh? Anyway, much love to you all. And thanks for hanging out tonight.